Hi, I'm Crystal Hale and I am an independent consultant with Jamberry Nails and today I'm going to show you how to apply those nail wraps to your fingers. So I'm going to tip this computer screen down so hopefully you'll be able to see what I'm doing as I work on my nails. Alright, naked nails, we need to get some wraps on those fingers. So, today I am doing a little mixture of the May Hostess Exclusive for May 2015 and this is actually a retired wrap that I've been hoarding for a while and I can't wait to wear it. Um, so I like to cut each strip away from the sheet of nail wraps so that I can mix them together and see how they look. Now if you do this you cannot exchange your wrap, you cannot return it for a refund. So just so you know you can cut them apart, but you can't return them after you do. So, now you know. I've told you. Okay, so let's start with the index finger here. I will show you how we do this. Today I'm using my Jamberry Mini Heater, but you can use any sort of heat source that you have available. Uh, you can use a hair dryer. Some people even use a toaster and hold the wraps over the toaster to warm them up. There are a lot of different options. Um, space heater is another good one. But I do love this mini heater because it is quiet. This is on right now and you can barely hear it. And it's not windy so it's not going to blow anything off the table which I always found would happen when I was using my hair dryer. So this is good. You don't have to have it. And the other tools that you're going to need are manicure scissors. Um, either a tweezer or you can use an orange stick to lift the wraps off of the sheet and I like these rubber cuticle pushers you can also use a wine cork or a buffer block or you can press them on with your fingers but these are really helpful for getting around the edges and cuticle edge and you're going to need um, an alcohol wipe or some rubbing alcohol that you can pour onto um, a cotton pad. Sorry, I need more coffee. Anyway, um, I have already washed my hands, which is a very important first step for prepping your nails for putting on wraps. And I have pushed back my cuticles using the Jamberry Cuticle Remover Pen, which I love. You can also push back your cuticles in the shower or bath because the heat and water makes them very soft. So after you wash your hands and push your cuticles back, you need to swab your nails with alcohol to make sure that you have no oils left on your nails because the wraps will not stick to oil and they won't stick to your cuticles. So make sure you get them pushed back. I am swabbing all of my nails at once because I tend to forget if I don't do them all at once. but. You can also do them one by one, and if it takes a while to get through both hands, you might want to swab that second hand again. So, we're going to do my index finger. This is the strip I'm going to use for that. And you're, you want to make sure that when you're sizing which strip should go on which nail, watch carefully to be sure that there is a little bit of a gap. You don't want it to cover your nail from skin to skin, because if it's touching skin, um, it won't stick. It will start to buckle because your skin does produce oil and you don't want that to come in contact with the adhesive under these wraps. So, once you've got your strip either on the sheet or separated, you cut it in half this way, lengthwise. You can cut them smaller if you want to save the middle portion, but it's, uh, it's never enough for me that I find that that's worth it. Then you need to peel your wrap off of the clear backing. You can do this with a tweezer, which I prefer to do, or you can use an orange stick or something to peel it off this way. You just want to make sure that your fingers do not touch the adhesive side of the wrap because the oils from your fingers will break down that adhesive and it won't stick well. So, you warm this in front of your heater to soften the adhesive and you'll notice it'll get kind of floppy and that's how you know your adhesive is softened enough. And you're going to put the curved end at your cuticle. You push it as far 
down on your nail as you can get without actually touching your cuticle. If it's touching the cuticle, it won't stick. So make sure you don't put it down too far. So, once it's on your nail, use your cuticle pusher or your finger to smooth it down all around. I like to smooth it straight down the middle and then over to each side. Concentrate on the cuticle edge and the edge close to your fingers to make sure that that's sealed really well. And as long as you do that, you're going to have a watertight seal. No water is going to get under there the whole time you're wearing your jams. And you won't have any issues with fungus growing under there if there's water trapped. So, after you've got them on, grab the corners and pull them a little bit. You can touch the adhesive at this point because that part of the adhesive is not going to be touching your nail. You're going to trim that off. So give it a little tug, not very much, and that makes sure that it is uh, smoothed all the way around your nail. Then you use your cuticle scissors, or you can use clippers, but I find this a little easier, to trim the excess. You do not have to trim this exactly to the end of your nail. <laughs> can't put this down, okay. Because um, as they cool, they will shrink back a little bit. So you never want to trim all the way to the end until it's completely cool. So you trimmed off the excess. Warm it up again for a minute. Make that adhesive soft again and push it down one more time, focusing on the edges. And then I like to take my finger, thumb, whatever, and pull down, roll my thumb over the tip to get a really good seal on the tip. We don't want those tips lifting up in a couple of days. We want them to stay strong the whole two weeks or however long you want to wear them. So, you need heat and pressure. Make sure that you smooth it all the way and you're not going to file off the extra until your jam is completely cool so that it won't shrink back too much. So I'm going to show you one more time. And then, I mean, it's so easy. Then I think you've got it, don't you? Of course you do. You are smart. I hear so many people saying that they are afraid of trying them, afraid that they'll mess them up. And honestly, they're just fingernails. Don't worry too much about it. Just do your best and you know what? If it doesn't work out, it's just your fingernails. You're going to be fine. So I have just barely laid that on there. I'm going to smooth down toward my cuticle, straight up the middle. Push it over to each side. Now it's stuck to the tip of my finger. That's all right. All right. Heat and pressure, and then I pull a little bit to make sure that it's sealed well over the tips of my nails. Then I'm going to trim off the excess, not all the way to my nail, but almost. Ah, I am having issues getting this extra piece off. All right, warm that one more time. Press, press, press. I cannot say enough good things about these rubber cuticle pushers. They are awesome. But I have heard that you can use a wine cork or, you know, many other things to smooth your wraps on. I'm going to pull my finger over the tip of that nail to make sure that it's sealed really well to the tip. Alright. And we have to let those cool before you can do any sort of filing. So now I've got this one cooled down. I can file the extra final wrap off the tip of that. You're filing straight down. You don't want to file up and down because that might pull your wrap up. So you're going straight down over the end. Watching those corners can be a little tricky. Again, it's just fingernails. Don't be afraid to try it. And it comes right off. 
I also like to take a finer grit nail file or a glass file and go over the tips at a 45 degree angle. This takes off a tiny bit more of the wrap. It leaves a little rim of fingernail around the edge and that keeps your wrap from catching on things when you're using your fingernails as tools. Don't pretend like you don't. I know you all do. I do. And the finer grit file gives you a little bit smoother of an edge there. So that's it. That's applying your Jamberry nail wraps. It's easy, right? You can do it. We can all do it. Thanks for watching.